Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim with Jupiter Jim's Marketing Club and you can see this is the web address to get there. In any event, today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to create a Gravatar which stands for Globally Recognized Avatar and an avatar is your online profile pic or cartoon picture used to represent you in the online world. So let me give you an example. If you go to Jupiter Gym's Marketing Club, you can click on free articles and you will get access to my blog posts and videos, some of them, even though you are not officially a member. So here's the blog post, follow your intuition to avoid disaster. There's the video. Here is where you would sign up to get my number one blog secret and to have my blog posts and videos delivered directly into your email inbox every week. But let's get move along with the lesson. So this right here is a Gravatar. This, that's obviously, you know, this is my Gravatar, hello, for Jupiter Jim. And this is the Gravatar for Mark, AKA Mr. Marketing. Um, so in any event, one reason you want to have a Gravatar, it makes people more likely to click on your name. And that's important because if they click on your name, it ends up bringing them, I'm just going to right click right here. It ends up bringing them to your website. So this is the website Divine Canine Pet Sitting that I built for Carrie. She is a pet sitter dog walker par excellence award winning by the way in the Carlsbad California area so if you know anybody in that area that's looking for a pet sitter dog walker Carrie is the gal you want to call so this is her website but the point of it is is that if she had her picture here you'd be more likely to kick click on the picture or on her name and that brings you clicking on the name brings you to her website so let me show you how to create a gravatar first of all go to google just type in gravatar like that okay click search and there you go so gravatar globally recognized avatars and you want to end up you're going to end up here with i'm going to click here and you can see en just stands for english en.gravatar.com now if you have a free account at wordpress.com if you have signed up at wordpress.com for some reason not your self-hosted website like this is a self-hosted website or this is a self-hosted website I'm not talking about that but if for some reason you've signed up before with wordpress.com for a free website or whatever um, for a kismet for instance which is a a plugin um, anti-spam plugin maybe you have an account at wordpress.com if you do click here to sign in if you don't just scroll down here and click create your own gravatar i'm going to do that right now okay and we're here it's as simple as that so i'm going to sign up with the email address that i use for these demonstrations jupiter gyms demo sites at gmail dot com username Jupiter Jim's demo sites I'll leave that as my I'm just gonna say Jupiter Jim's demos for my username and my password you just create your own password uh, whatever it is this is something because I use LastPass which creates passwords but I'm just gonna create something real simple here And now I'm going to click sign up. Okay. And like, here we go. We sent you a confirmation email. They sent it to this ad email address. That's why they're saying you have to be real careful. Make sure you type it in exactly right. You only get one shot to get this. So I'm, this is my email for Jupiter Gyms demo sites at gmail.com. And I'm going to click here, right there. And welcome to WordPress.com and Gravatar. I'm going to click here to activate the account. Sign in to Gravatar. I'm going to click here. This is the email I want to modify. It's the only one there. And then I'm going to add a new image. You can add more than one email address and associate, associate that more than one email address with one image for your gravatar or you can have separate email addresses with different pictures it's up to you anyways let's just add one image for my 
email address. So anytime I use this email address to reply to blog posts and comment on blog posts, then the image that I add right now will show up. So let's click there, upload a new image. That is going to be chosen from my computer, which I just happen to go to my desktop. Let's go to the desktop. I have a file for that. It's demo stuff. Profile pics. I'm just going to double click on this picture. It's way too big, way too big. It's, you know, directly from my digital camera or a Galaxy S5. So let's click next and we're going to have to crop that. And I deliberately, deliberately used a big picture so you can see what you need to do when you got a picture that's just too daggum big. So I'm going to click the lower right hand corner. Okay like that and I'm gonna click here and just drag it over drag that corner there yeah okay good enough you get the point I'm gonna scroll down here crop and finish that's it crop and and these are the previews excuse me that's a small preview bigger preview if it was ever used in a bigger way. Um, just crop and finish. Um, obviously you pick the rating. I'm just going to pick the G rating which means it will show up on all websites. Um, pick email to modify. So if you want to pick a new image you can add new images, add new email addresses, change this, that, and the other thing. Um, and that's it. Here's the profile. You can get more information for your profile here or change more of your, you know, profile information, all that stuff here. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, share, take care, and have a great day.